Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid. This is your ever lovable host, Shadowblade730, and my co-host, Miniblade. Let's see if we can make our way back through Norfair and finally get out of back, get out of Brenstar and make our way back to our ship. A right, little trick here. Uh, use a power bomb here, and it opens up this little area. Work on. We're gonna make sure we gotta do that on our round, Shadow Blade. Yeah, that's right, just me and you. And our viewers. Get our speed booster. Get a little shortcut going. Viewers, do you like Super Metroid? Please like a comment and subscribe. <laughs> right to our channel. You can says you can do something fun no matter what. Yeah, that's right. So, Shadow Blade? Yeah, mini blade. When do we do do when do we ice the monsters? Well, whenever we see them, if they get on our way, you don't literally have to kill every monster in this game, but yeah, sometimes it helps. Lessens the threat. But let's head to this elevator back to Brenstar, because now that we have the wave beam, we can get out of here. I mean, you really don't have to get out of here, I don't think, but I would suggest it, because there's a bunch of power ups we're gonna get in this episode. Because we're gonna get stronger, we're gonna hit harder. Yeah. Freeze these little boogers. Ooh, big energy. Nice. Come on, hit the target. Yeah, there we go. Ice and frozen, huh, Mini Blade? Yes. I don't want this help, but I don't want to see the monsters on my own. Oh, it's gonna be okay. I'm right here with you, Mini Blade. Because me, me and you together, we can do anything. Right, go freeze these rippers and use them as stepping stones to make our way back up. Hold on, get over here, get over here, get her, get her, get her. Yep, there we go. All right, jump straight up. All right, shoot up a little bit. All right, now here you have to definitely need another power bomb, but fortunately there's a little you know, enemy there that almost always drops power bombs. So that's pretty good. Now remember, we didn't go in this room because we didn't at the time have the grappling beam, which is kind of necessary to get through here, but you see these enemies here? You don't actually want to kill them because if you kill them, then they'll actually make the lights go out. Oh, there we go. Three spikes. So just freeze them and you should be fine. Now here you want to use your grappling beam to Indiana Jones across. Da dun da dun da dun da 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 dun da dun da oops dun da 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 da. Cover your heart, Andy. Yeah, I watched too much. I moved way too many times. Remember Red Door? Either one super missile or five missiles. How? What? What about? What are five missiles? Five missiles opens a pink door. Oh, new treasure! What we have here, we have the X-ray scope. Hooray! Now this item is not needed to complete the game. I just picked it up because, eh, I like it. It's on the way, so access it. You hit your run button, and you get to see. Yeah. Instead of just having to bomb randomly to get, you know, see where different hidden rooms are, get out here. Just bomb up here. Bomb here, activates a little platform, make your way down, around, and we're out. Oh, come on, switch it off. <laughs> I'll probably rarely use it, but yeah, it's there. But let's get back to our grappling beam. I remember my Charlemagne. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably my favorite Indiana Jones movie. Except for, really, I do like Temple of Doom, just because, as a kid, I watched the movie a lot. And yes, the scene where they, the guy, the police take the heart out of the guy, freaking terrified me, but... For another time. <laughs> I mean, come on! I was like nine years old when I saw that. Oop, a little bit of a glitch there. Back to this door. Let's kill these little critters, get our super missiles and energy. And run, 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 run! Okay, big energy. Let's get some more big energy. There we go. Live a refill. Just refill that auto tank and the energy we did lose. Alright, kill these side hoppers. Remember how we had the weird wave beam? Now we can open that door. Okay. Way up here, avoid these little creatures in the side hoppers. Now up there, there is a bit of a secret. Like I said, you could have reached it earlier if you had a uh, really a turbo controller or just really good with the turbo bomb technique. I'm really not. So I figured, ah, just wait in here, just high jump up. A free missile pack, hooray. 
What's the missile? Missile is an upgraded weapon that does pretty good damage and allows you to open red doors. All right, hop up here. Now look up there, there's a platform we could reach earlier. Detonate a power bomb to open the yellow doors. Now be careful, because here you encounter your first giant side hoppers, holy crap. Yeah, these, these monsters are not to be trifled with. They hit pretty hard. But we should be able to take them. Bomb through this wall here. And bomb through here. And we get another power bomb. Hooray. She took a total of 15 power bombs. Now there are 50 power bombs you know, that you can get in this game. I don't think I'll be getting all 50, but I'll get most of them. Same thing, I think you have 50 super missiles, 50 power bombs, and you get, I think, 215 missiles. I'll make a way across over here. Okay, there's one more power up you can get right now. Actually, you can probably get another one, but I'm not going to go up there because it, it can be a little bit difficult. Run through here. Yep. Same setup as the original Metroid. I thought about let's playing that game, but that game can be really tricky. Oop, boop. Right there. See so if you can line it up. Oh, no. No, a little bit over. And we get our energy tank. Hooray. Energy tank number five. We're gonna, need We're, all, gonna... we're gonna need all the energy tanks we can get here. Make our way back to where we came from. Let's fill up those re uh, reserve that reserve tank we got. All right, run, 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 run. All right, detonate another power bomb here. While my little sidekick mini blade makes himself a beat sandwich. You know, Shadow, you are me. Yep. Oh, I know. I'll let you make your sandwich, little buddy. Watch out for these giant side hoppers. Pepper out, Watch out, Shadow Blade. Oh, we got them. Shadow Blade's got this, buddy. All right. So it's over here. Keep right across. Smoke. Well, this game just does, does have a really good soundtrack. I mean, I just this is probably one of my favorite games of all time. I can't tell you how many playthroughs I played of this game, honestly, when I was young. Okay, out here, you got two of these. What are they called? That need a power bomb, open that door. Now watch out because we have more giant side hoppers! One more. Okay, just watch out. Cut, jump over. Alright, nice, nice. Alright, now if you notice up here, that's a little icon to um, hook our grappling beam to. I'm gonna swing around, swing around, and up around, and. Oh, I forgot. You need a wave beam. <laughs> yeah, you can't get it until you have a wave beam. So, going around. Going around. Going around. And, yeah. Oh, crap baskets. <laughs> yeah, this is just being... That's going to be kind of tricky to get. Just let you go. Step over. Okay, switch over to the park. Okay. Now we got to hurry up. Go back to our crafting beam. Go around, around. Oh, go. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up before the door closes. Come on, Shadow. Come on, Shadow, and hooray. Open that door. For troubles, we get another energy tank. Hooray. I think that's energy tank number six, if I'm not mistaken. Doing pretty good. One reserve tank, six energy tanks. We get a total of 14 energy tanks. Uh, we'll get a good chunk of those, but I don't think we'll get all of them. I mean, getting all energy tanks isn't that difficult to do. There isn't that much backtracking. But if we bomb right here and bomb again, back to this little platform. Hooray. Open this door. And you do have to kill all these side hoppers, both large and small, to open this door again. We'll make our way back to get out of here. Here, yep, there's a doorway up here. Now here you kind of want to be careful, Mini Blade, because first of all, like I said, those enemies can't be destroyed, and you don't want to run at super speed, because if you do, you'll actually um, break through that platform right there, and have to go all the way to the bottom and do a, um, a super jump, which, I mean, it's not detrimental, it just wastes a lot of time. Oh, oh there's another enemy. Give me super power bomb breakfast. I mean, it's not that that's your mouth to just waste a couple minutes. And this, guy, this game really does have a kind of a time limit where if you want to get the quote unquote good ending, um, if you beat it within three hours, you get the really good ending. Um, 
Usually I end up between about between almost two, around about two hours. Unless I really start going throughout the entire game trying to get everything. Ooh, here we get another reserve tank. Very nice. These are all the reserve tanks you get. I think there's a total of four of them. Jabba, you might want to be careful. Oh, I'll be careful. Before we get another missile tank. Hooray. Alright, a little trick here. If you detonate a power bomb here, you can get another missile upgrade. Hooray. Lots and lots and lots and lots of missiles. We'll need those later in the game. That's for sure. Make our way up around here. Alright. All right, now notice the doors, are, the walls are down, so just jump up here. Make sure you're the enemies. There's lots of little side hoppers and these little figure eight flying enemies. Let's make it over here. We get another super missile. That's ten super missiles. Very nice. Those items are really, really good, except for especially for a certain boss later in the game. I'll let you know. What do you say, Mini Blade? It's good, me. That's right. It's always nice knowing they're trying to teach a kid a little bit of manners. Right, head up the elevator. I'm back to Criteria! Making our way out of Insta. Hooray! Alright. Back to Criteria. We're gonna want to make our way back to our ship. Just to avoid these enemies here. Down. They're really not worth the time. So just head over here. Once again, just remember that red door for later. That's going to be really important much later. Just jump up here, kill these space parts. Um, I really wouldn't worry about power because we're about to hit a really, really good recharge station. Now here, if you just hit your speed booster, you just run through them. Yeah. Flash. Ah. Bomb this little wall right here. Make way across. Jump out of the way. Oh, like I said, not too worried about power, because we're about to get really good power, um, recharge coming up. Yep, because right here, we back to our ship. Oh, all right. Let's head back into our ship. Uh, what I like about the ship's um, recharge is it recharges everything. Um, it recharges all your armaments, it recharges your reserve tanks, your regular energy tanks. It's just really good and saves the game. Um, too bad you really don't come around your ship that often. I think this is one of the few times you do. So I was like, I'll take one trip. Run, 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 run. Shoot that door with a super missile. Go through his little walkway. Ooh, key hunters. I think there's one more key hunter. It's kind of in an awkward position. Today. And yellow door, you know what that means, viewers. Time for a power bomb. <laughs> Made it through for the explosion. Another missile pack. Time for a little Indiana Jones time. Four more missiles. Puts us up to 80. Very nice. I'd like to get around 120, 130 uh, missiles before the end of the game. But we'll see how many we get. Alright. Hey, this is different. Oh, well, looks like there's some kind of weird structure here. Just leap across a la Simon Belmont style. Come on, come on. Leap across. There we go. Now, this one we're going to want to hook up to this Ripper 2 here. And just make our way across. Jump here. Make this last jump. Hey. Pop this new door with Super Missile. And wait up. What kind of structure is this? Is this some kind of old industrial complex or something? This is weird. It's kind of ominous. Kind of spooky. Let's see what's through this door. Hey, it's a save point. Let's see if we can save our game. Wait up. Save point's not working. That's strange. It's like there's no power going through here. What happened to all the power in this place? Man, this is eerie. It is, but we'll get it next time. Oh no, we next time Shadow Blade. We, let us let's find out what's do what's oh absorbing all the power from any blade. I mean, is it some kind of creature or something? Oh, and there's like little ghosts! Wow, we. This is a very spooky place. Uh, let's see if we can find what's sucking all the juice out of this place. Alright, green door, so let's whistle it. Alright. 
Oh. This is a weird color. Let's head through here. Oh, there's a little way to go under here. Activate our super missile for a... Whoa! Oh, I know what that means. It smells like boss time. All right, let's see what's here. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, fire eyes. What is this? And they're going in a circle. For mini ultra boss battle time against Fantoon himself. The second guardian of Super Metroid. Now, this boss is a little... <laughs> This boss is a little tricky where you just want to sit here and really shoot these little fireballs and get power-ups. More importantly, whenever he shows his eye like that, you just want to keep shooting shooting him in the eye with missiles. It's Missiles is really the safest way to go. You can use super missiles and make the fight go a little quicker. The problem is it's really difficult to avoid his counterattack once you use super missiles. Which I think I'm going to display here. I think I'm good enough to do it. I mean, I wouldn't suggest it if you're doing a first uh, let's play. Just watch for Fantoon! Spooky, spooky Fantoon! Ooh, that's a lot of missiles. It's okay, we've got him. See if you hit him with a super missile. He sits up there and just shoots a crap ton of those little fireballs. And they do a lot of damage. Good thing is, if you kind of line up right, you can pretty much take care of all of them with one or two shots. There we go. He should be about done tossing his fireballs at me. Hopefully. Alright, now he's go back to his routine, doing his little figure eight here, and dropping eyeball fireballs, or eye fireballs. Once they open their little eyes, you can actually destroy them and hopefully get some power-ups. Alright, that's out. Okay. Ooh, blast them! There we go. Ooh, fancy. Love this boss fight. He is way, way harder and met and, um... What Metroid game was it? It was um, the really bad one for the Wii that nobody likes. I can't remember the name of it. But anyway, yeah, in that game he was way, way hard. And I will admit, the, some of the fights in that game were really cool looking. Just, uh, not like the way they portray Samus in that game. I think they did her really, really wrong. Just wait for him to show, wait for it to show itself. There we go. Super Missile! Come on, show yourself, Fantoon. Blast! There we go. Got him! Time for epic death animation! It's like we busted ourselves a ghost there, Mini Blade. That's right. Hey, look! Power's back on. I guess it was that little, that nasty little Fantoon that sucked all the power out of this place. Let's find out where the heck are we? I mean, is this, like I said, is some kind of industrial building or... I don't know. It's something different than the rest of the area. Where, where are they, Dad? I don't know, we're gonna find out in a little bit, Mini Blade. Kill these little, um, Adam-looking enemies. Ooh, okay. Come on, hook it up. Let's look at our map. Map that access. Yeah, this is actually called the Wreck Ship. Apparently, I think in the storyline, this ship actually crashed here, carrying Fantoon. Uh, or was shot down by space pirates. I, I really need to look more about the lore of this game. But this is probably the smallest area in the game, but it's really, just really cool how they did this. Alright, bomb up here, get away out. Now that Fantoon's dead, we can actually access this door. Here, yeah, let's watch out for these little power outlets. You got our, um... 15 block of um, super missiles. Yeah, if you hit the little electricity, little spark of electricity, it does a little bit of damage, so just try and avoid it if you can. Yeah. I think we had a good little bit of time. Maybe good, put a little extra length on this episode for you viewers. Um, don't worry about that door yet. Um, we'll come back to that in a little while. In a little while. More importantly, let's hit the save note. Save our game. Yes, we will. All right. But what awaits us as we delve further inside the wrecked ship? Find out next time on Let's Play Super Metroid! If you like our content, please like, share, subscribe, maybe throw a comment or two. And this is your ever lovable host, Shadowblade730, and my ever lovable mid co host, Mini Blade. And we will see you all next, next adventure! adventure. Bye bye!